All wings, report in. Red five standing by. I don't need a red five. I need a fucking blue one, Ryan. Oh, <laughs> damn. Nice intro. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, it took me a second there. I was trying to get my best loop going. Yeah. Mediocre. Early loop, too. Not, not... Yeah. I could, do, I could probably do old grumpy loop. That's easy. Yeah. Well, that's just you Cut as a person. Force. I'm a, I'm a goddamn troll. I love how... Sorry, there was like... To me, it was great that Luke wa was basically a troll, and then the whole bit was that he was trolling the, the fan that belonged to anyway. Yep. Some people really hate that, but... I know. Welcome back to Pajanime 2, everybody. Where we go on okay, our endless... Luke, endless Luke Sora, Sora, Sora Skywalker. Sora Skywalker. Luke's other, yeah. other grandson. There we go! That actually, you just, oh my goodness! It makes perfect sense, right? We were talking about the, the square protagonist being of an ilk, of this brotherhood, of this family. They're all descendants of Skywalker. That's why some of them are just emo enough, and the rest of them inhabit the other aspect of the sky. Perfect, done. And which totally fits in with this whole series being like Star Wars. We d nailed it! We, I, we don't actually done. We Kyle, this this is your last battle. We yeah, don't have to go through this series. We're done. We, we saved we, it. We, we've discovered the root of Kingdom Hearts. You know, it all makes perfect sense too. We should have seen it. Disney was given the telltale signs that they were about to buy Star Wars. Oh my all the way back God! Then. Were they? Yeah. I mean, we had to know if they were willing to get into bed with Square and Final Fantasy. I mean, that, at that point, all anime. On, 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 the on, table. on the table. Yeah. And it doesn't get more anime than Skywalker Saga. You're not wrong, I mean, it's Ryan. called the Skywalker Saga. How anime as fuck is that? It's all about one person. It might as well have been a situational comedy. One white guy who's angry. The Ross. Ross was the one in Friends, right? I didn't watch enough Friends. Yeah, Ross is the shitty friend. Yeah, but he's like the the pseudo main character that they make it all about him. No, by um, making him seem to be like the Zach Morris or the Dennis Reynolds or the. No, know, Ross the is like the shittiest friend. Oh, he's just the shittiest friend. Okay. Yeah, he, a lot of the arcs revolve around him in the first season because he's just. I thought, gotten... I thought his relationship was the main relationship. Yeah, but it's probably more about Rachel than about him. So it's about the story's about Rachel, and he just happens to be the main love interest. Got it. He's the love interest. Yeah. So like right off the bat, like you know what I mean. Like technically, situational obviously have all these characters, but like How I Met Your Mother's about Ted. Yeah. All the other characters are just there, right? Yeah. Like, Say by the Bell's about Zach. All the other characters. Yeah, are just I'd there. say that Friends is more about Rachel than Ross. Than Ross. Ross okay. is the love it. Ross, Ross is just the Kelly Kapowski. The, 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 yeah, he's the second most important character by proxy of being. The yeah. Main not love even our, not even necessarily the second most important. I'd say that her relationship with Monica is more important than her relationship with Ross. Okay. I, I didn't watch enough Friends, so but yeah. like Jerry would be the one in Seinfeld, and the show, Sonny always makes fun of it, but Dennis is the one that is yeah. in Sonny. Yeah, yeah. Because Dee's Dennis's sister, Frank's yes. dad, they're all they're all Dennis's friends. He's the golden god after all. Yeah. <laughs> he is a god, the golden god. Be gone, foul beast. Be gone from me. This isn't a starter car, it's a finisher car! Oh, Dennis Rand. Clint Howerton just got better with a. He's like a fine wine. He absolutely is. Like, even this season, he's. Oh, I was worried too because, you know, we were talking about it before yeah. how he came back this season. Um, this, I'm not going to spoil anything of this in the most recent episode, but. Yeah, you I were worried, worried we weren't going to see as much Glenn Howerton. Yes, and this season, they definitely went back to the, the default mode for this most recent episode. I believe I told you guys about uh, just briefly what the the gimmick was in this episode, but it was the they do it's their take on the escape room. Yes. And, oh, it's great. It's super good. I'm gonna guess something I, I along the lines of like, why do people pay to be trapped room, in I, I here? Think, I think it's dumb. No, they didn't do it where it, they went into an escape room. She did up Dennis and uh, Dennis and uh, and Max apartment. And let's just say they have some fun with Dennis's room. Oh, good. Um, which has which which like a, any good Pokemon and anime has evolved over time. It's gotten more creepy over time. Oh, good. Burn to do do do. That's what it needed, I think. So that makes a lot of yeah. sense. The epi that episode also in particular tackles some social commentary on uh, toxic masculinity and the alpha male concept. Yeah. Dennis. Oh, blue, blue, blue. Was it wasn't just Dennis? It was everyone. <laughs> By uh, yeah, yeah, you should watch it. I don't want to spoil it because you might watch it. And I think I actually made, made you mad spoiling it last time. So. Not mad, but. Oh, well, I, that's the thing. I don't know if you actually plan on watching Sunny. Oh yeah. I don't really care about the audience because it was actually it's all since aired by this point. And if you're a fan of Sunny, which it seems like the entire world became, um, 
yeah, you've probably seen it. This season's been getting some of their highest ratings, or it'd be keeping with their, in keeping with some of the higher ratings that they've gotten anyway. Yeah. Uh, thus far. Definitely also, Dennis in the most recent episode, though. We should so give a uh, little bit of uh, housekeeping. So, this is the last episode that yes. Ryan and I have time to do today. If we don't get the fucking blue one, I'm just gonna go get a blue one on my own. I'm not gonna progress yeah. any further than Specifically that. Specifically, a one that is blue. Yeah. Because we've gotten tons of blue ones, but we need a one that is the, also a blue one. Die by D, die by die. You nice fucking name, dude. <laughs> we need a blue one house. No, that doesn't work. I mean, you could just say we need a blue house and a blue window, but it, yeah. Also, yeah. whose windows are blue? Like, what, do they live Nobody? In I guess they're from your end of town, or your end of the world. Do you guys have that problem? I have. I, don't, I didn't really remember looking a lot when I was in, because uh, we were on the highways a lot in uh, Brunswick. But in Newfoundland, there is a trope of, like, normal colored house, like blue or white, normal colored house or red, like, you know, a lot of people have the normal color. But then, completely weird colored door out of nowhere, like RKO. Like, you'd be driving by and it's just like, there's a white house with a bright pink door. What? Why? Yeah. A bright pink? It doesn't fit at all. Because or a bright neon green door, and you're just like, uh, Somebody what? just with felt red? like it? I don't know. Um, That's, it, I, like, a lot of people do it. And what, I, 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 from what I gather, talking to the older folks from there, it's just a tacky aspect to their personalities. But yeah. is that is that also a thing where you are at? That's not a thing at all. For the most part, not everything's, really. Everything's very standardized. Like You'll see the occasional person who does it, but it's weird. If you've ever seen the show Weeds, the weird. song, you know, little, little, little Boxes on the Hillside, where all the houses look the same, like, that is definitely... Like, I, I totally understand people being fatigued by that aspect of houses, don't get me wrong, like... If you don't live in, like, a New Yorkian neighborhood that has, like, history, you know what I mean? Then you live in a place that's, like, residential and all the houses look the same, right? Yeah. Like, even even if you're not living in, like, suburbs, like, even if you, as someone who's used to live in trailer parks when I was a kid, even those, those all are basically, they're models, they all look the same. They're, they're slight differences, but generally. Yeah, I got you. I don't know. From my perspective, like, obviously nothing against people who like to personalize their house. That always just seemed like an excess waste of time and money that I don't want to invest. Like, my house is my house, whatever, right? Yep. To me, the, the, the investing on being able to settle down to the point where you, you're just like, I'm going to make my door the color I want it, and all my carpets the color I want it, and all that stuff. To me, that's just like a... I, I guess I view that as a luxury of I'm in a comfortable place in life, and I just, yeah... But obviously people love that stuff in that HGTV is a popular network. I mean, it's a network all about house shit. Yep. And, ren and renovations and... Yeah. I've engaged in a few renovations. Yeah, of course. So yeah, if as I was trying to say, if we, get to, if we don't get through it oh, yes. on this fucking run, I'm just gonna go get the blue one on my own do a and I won't go any further feature. through the game than that I'm just I just don't want to keep doing episodes where we're just looking for a fucking door a blue one yes it makes perfect sense people basically we will be stopping. okay dude just fuck off this is it. bad we will come back when we have found it. but the feature will keep going you guys will still see of course we'll be a break we do all these things we can. yes <laughs> I should have loved my wording. Yep. Yeah, we do them all. We record them all while in the washroom. Yep. Hey, man. It's all about time efficiency. We don't have time for bathroom breaks. That reminds me of one line from a dumb and, the movie Dumb and Dumber Er. Ah, uh, yes, the best of those movies. The one that didn't have either of the actors. It was them as. Yeah, kids. they had that guy uh, who yeah, was in Community. Name. No, you know the guy though. The, the guy from Community who had the, like the who's never wearing a shirt and had hacky sack. Wow. Is he like in two episodes? I don't remember that guy at all. He was like Britta's first love interest that wasn't Jeff. Okay, was she like he was? He wasn't. In he was the guy who sang that Pierce is a B song. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What was it Vaughn? Um, that was his name. Vaughn. Uh, yeah, there's a line in that movie where the guy who's playing Lloyd's character, I believe, Joe Carey's character. Um, yeah, that, that was the guy. Was in the washroom when he met the other guy they'd already met, and he was eating his lunch in the washroom. And he's like, you know, time efficiency type thing. Yeah. You, 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 what, you put it in and let it go out at the same time, and I'm just like, that's That's kind of not how that works. I think they think they were being flippant or funny, but they were just being gross. Crass. Gross, yeah. 
hey, if that's your kind of humor. Oh, boy, are you happy that that Adam Sandler keeps getting making Netflix movies then, man. Can we... Also, if that's your kind of humor, I'm going to speculate that you're eight. It's edgy, bro. Well, I mean, come on. Eight years old, fart jokes? It's probably That's the height of comedy at eight. That's the thing. I, I always wonder if that's still the height of comedy at eight. I remember people laughing at that when I was eight. I mean... And don't get me wrong, sometimes potty humor. I still enjoy my own, the occasional fart joke. But like, joke. the Adam Sandler acts at stuff, and, or the, the, the stuff we're talking about is way different. It's like, it's just that, on loop, for like two hours. Like, and, and like too much, you know what I mean? It's like, hey, we watched a Game of Thrones sex scene, but then we said, what if we made a fart scene like that, then also made it go ten minutes longer than even that? You're just, you're just like, you know what I mean? Like, Andrew tried to show me one of the movies he had with Rob Schneider, and I literally mean, for five straight minutes, they were on a donkey farting. That's not funny after a certain point, right? It's just dumb. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just me, but I don't think that's funny. It reminds me of... Remember, have you ever seen the... To connect it to some GB stuff. Um, have you ever seen the quick look for the, the new David Jaffe game that came out a few years ago, Drawn to Death? Uh, no. Was just like, that was last yeah. year, wasn't it? Cause, uh, yeah, so Dan, it, it, it was all dick jokes, fart jokes, boob jokes, all that stuff. But it was just like the whole world was that and everything was that to, to level 11 to the point that it's just like, this is just dumb. This is just a, the crass and not like, it's like you're not doing any, like Saints Row is dumb, but Saints Row is timed, right? Saints Row has normal moments so that those, so those, so that other, those other moments can actually be comedy bits and not just. You know yeah, what I mean? it's kind of like, rad like, when laziness. they, um, when you have when you have to go through town spraying a, a sewage truck all over buildings to lower their property value. Like that's a funny joke. Yeah, and I'm just saying, like Saints Row at the time has always been like probably just as crass, or South Park even to a degree. But like they, they their crassness is just a little more deftly executed instead of the other stuff, which is just the Sandler, the Sandler tier, which is just again, like I said. I don't know how you can sit on a. I don't how. I don't know how you can record a donkey farting for five minutes and think to yourself, "This is the height of comedy." There's no way that that. that I'm sorry. I don't believe there is a way to use that footage anyway, because it, it's it just beats the joke to death, right? It's just too much of it. Here's what that tells me: they were like five minutes short of having a feature-length movie, and they're like, "Ah, oh, whatever. Just put more donkey fart in." But that's the thing. They they, they don't just use that once. Then it, that becomes a running gag where everyone they spend five minutes on every fart joke. Right? Because it's like, hi, isn't it funny? No! You're so, I'm just sitting here watching a fart for five minutes. Each time, like, I, 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 again, it's, it is it is the biggest waste of a movie that, I, like, you just, you're like, oh, I'm just not going to watch this. Blue three! It's, like, it's, like, it's why, what's it called? America's Funny Stone Videos? All those videos are, like, less than a minute in length. Yep. Because if you go longer than that, it's like, uh... The only reason you go longer than that if there's like two minutes of setup and the joke is even amazing or because of all the setup, right? Yeah. But this isn't that. This is no setup and five minutes of punchline. Like that, what? Freeze. Freeze. Sora's a 90s beat cop. It's basically like the, the those Adam Sandler movies are basically the comedy version of this game. Until you, you know when will the fart joke end? When you can find a blue one. Yeah. Oh, oh no. That's no good. Like, like I, I, a good example, I guess, too, just because I used it, was South Park. Because they have characters that fart. Terrence and Philip, they fart all the time. You know the difference? Terrence and Philip aren't in every episode. And when they do go to them, it's only for a brief period of time of the episode, right? It's like they take a moment and go crazy and then come back to normal. Because if you're just crazy all the time, then it's not crazy. Then you're not crazy. It's just, yeah, you, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I got you. You know what I mean? If you were just, if the combat was you just holding Goofy running down enemies, I mean, that's obviously still better than Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. But yeah. It's probably not as good as Kingdom Hearts combat. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. But then again, I'd say most things are better than Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. Yup. Root canals. <laughs> Those traditionally hurt. I've never gotten one. I, I haven't gotten one either. So how do you know you're just basing that on hearsay? My mom. I trust her. It's all hearsay. Kim Snow is a wise and talented lady, Ryan. Doesn't matter. You never... Listen, I'm gonna go... 
I'm gonna go false or fake news facts with you. Yeah, sure. Technically, you can't you know read anyone having else's someone mind, drill so everyone else is hearsay. Yeah, okay. I, I don't care if it's here. Listen, do, do you want to go all over why all those by people a are fucking people idiots? Hearsay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still hearsay. You yeah. Go, you, until you felt it, you haven't dealt. You it. You know what makes me sad is that pe there's people people who think that's an actual uh, <laughs> argument. I know. How do you know that Donald Trump's racist? You don't know what's in his head. I don't know. All of his policy, maybe? Like, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter what anyone else feels. Clearly. I mean, who? Freeze. Yeah, fuck you, Spyro! There's a new Spyro. Oh, no, I got delayed to November. No, just, this guy was Spyro. We're 16 minutes in, and we still don't have a one that's blue. Oh, I leveled up though, so. But maybe we will find it when this battle is through. Nice, nice rhyme, dude. I'd give you snaps, but my hands are busy right now. Snaps? Snaps. That's a drink. Oh, snap, snap, crackle, snapple. No, like that's. That makes sense. You don't clap for a poem. Snapple, crack, and pop. You just snap your fingers. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know that. No? Oh yeah, that's that's their move, dude. Artsy people. You yeah, do. Sticking their pinkies up. With their pinky rings, obviously. That's red. I don't give a fuck about a red. All right, you know what? We have the almighty darkness. Yeah, I get a new slate. Woo, new slate. Ragnarok, <laughs> Thor. Nice. Go Open Ragnarok. any door. Leap into the air and fire a shoot of rays in front of you. If you have a seven to a nine, ooh, that could be. Yeah, that seems useful. That seems like it's useful against air guys. Specifically the ones that have been messing with us. Which doesn't matter because then the... Uh, then the Oh, wait. That means the game wants you to level to that point to deal with the grind. Square! They knew. That's that, Kyle, they, they know what they're doing. They have no idea what they're doing. They know. They have they no know idea what a, I'm capable of. They, they, they know they've made a game that, that it's all about the grind. Might as well be called freaking Tony Hawk Pro Skater Studios, you know? Yeah. Sick grinds. That was a long one. I'm trying to come up with a better way for skateboarding in the Flash, but, you know, I'm not Barry Allen, so. It's not good enough. No. I need to be struck by li the Speed Force. You can't stick your I dick he just in the struck by dude. lightning, but he ends up getting struck by something called the Speed Force. What the or, he or some. Sorry, or maybe it's some sort of. You're making that up, right? The speed no, force? No, no the, the speed force is what he's connected to. Yeah, no, I'm not making the speed force up. The speed force is a thing. That's what no. all the speedsters are connect to. Yeah, man. It's like another... Think of it like the Mass Effect Relays. It's another aspect. Like, basically, space levels of another lo way of describing a new speed. but Because it's basically going so fast you're in another dimension. But yeah, it's the speed... You know what? Because we're grinding, I'm going to Google for you. You ready? Are you ready to get a history lesson? Ragnarok! Yeah! Okay, that moves pretty good. Oh, yeah. AoE. Eat it, baby. Oh! Yeah, sorry. The Ragnarok song. Um, Alright, what was I looking? Oh, yeah. The Speed Force. Alright, there you go. Here we go. It's a concept. It's got a concept on Comic... It's a concept on Comic Vine. Also, fine. Giant former former partners of Giant Bomb. Yeah. Common fine. Still managed uh, by our okay. boy Matt Rory. So the 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 underneath H one the the initial uh, the initial paragraph description for it is the Speed Force is an extra dimensional energy source in the DC universe that lets speedsters travel at otherwise impossible speeds as well as do other nifty tricks without being hindered by physics. In the post Flashpoint continuity, the Speed Force is the very cosmic force that pushes time forward. So there you go. The cool. speed force. It makes you go fast. You wish you could use it right now to get to the end of this game. Yeah, I do. They can do time manipulation, time travel, vortex creation, dimensional travel, speed scouts. Oh yeah, they can create duplicates of themselves that scout forward to warn them of things that they to warn them of things at moments when it's uh, to, to to back to the future, to to find a way to warn you without fucking up things. 
also I, one of the one of the dumbest gimmicks of, of Speed Force is, is that all the characters who who get it all have fucking stupid names that have to do with going fast. Like Flash. here we go. <gasps> no! Oh, I saw man. the one. I got excited. It wasn't. It here's wasn't the Flash, blue. But, Ryan, but it here's was another red. one. Johnny Quick. That's that's not even clever. No, that listen. Uh, the Flash is as clever as it gets, and it's not that clever. We're gonna go through the list of characters associated with the Speed Force. We always have Barry Allen, the Flash. There's the first Flash, Jay Garrick. Um, Wait, I thought Barry Allen was the first Flash. No, Jay Garrick is originally. Yeah. In, I believe this is from the. This is from the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. No. This is from the, like the comments. The first Flash, Jay Garrick, originally couldn't even run at the speeds down until he met Barry Allen and began to tap into the Speed Force. He could then run 20 times as fast. I believe the plot line is it opens with with um, Barry Allen as the Flash, but at some point Barry Allen needs to do something to save himself, so he creates the Speed Force and get, somehow gives it to Jay Garrick in the past. So then, because he did it in the past, Jay Garrick technically counts as the first Flash. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Anime. <laughs> There's Wally West, the third Flash. Yeah. The second Kid Flash. Johnny Quick. Jesse Chambers, Max Mercury, Reverse Flash, Savitar. I never understood the concept of Reverse Flash. Does he just really slow, or does he run really fast? No, backwards? no, no. He's just another speedster. Um, Why is I he... remember correctly... Um, That's a stupid name, though. Here we go. Reverse Flash, Eobard Thawne was sucked into the Speed Force, and there he went insane after remaining there for 50 years. When he returned, he wreaked havoc and eventually became a being of pure speed entry and has possessed the body of Max Mercury, thus condemning Max to the Speed Force. Um, in the Flash TV show, his whole plot, plot line was that he was created by Barry Allen in the, f in the future. And he is like a, a, dis dis a long-lost descendant of Barry Allen's roommates current boyfriend who who Barry is competing with to get his roommate's affection right you know, love interest him. and uh, he ends up coming back through time and getting stuck there so then he creates the flash it's all fucked but he but he still exists listen once you once you in engage time travel impulse the black flash is a grim reaper of sorts that sounds racist when near death, all speedsters connected to the Speed Force must face the Black Flash. Oh, that's cool. So he's like, he's literally like the Grim Reaper. I gotta look at him. I wanna see what he looks like. I bet he looks rad. Cool. Oh my god. Okay, it's like if you were to take a... Okay, you know those... Okay, you, actually this is perfect because this connects to what we're doing. You know those upgraded version of the regular Heartless enemies that are a little taller with the... Like they're all sagging and black and they got like the ears sticking out? Reverse, fl or sorry, Black Flash looks kind of like a sagging monster like that, but like draped over like a wet, sagging f Flash suit that's all black and like worn. Freeze. It's actually pretty cool. Will you it get down to like, my level, sir? Kinda Holy looks like shit! Venom almost, but just like not not bulky, like more like a Last of Us monster. You know what I mean? Like like skinny and like desperate. Huh. Just like if you could be anywhere in the vicinity, Apparently he's connected to the dark aspect of the Speed Force. Come on, you know what? I'm taking a risk here, Ryan. I think I have enough now to get an actual 99 just off of combat. I'm gonna use my Joker on the blue one. The Joker. Oh, you didn't think you had enough for 99 before? I that? didn't. I definitely didn't when we started. Oh, I totally forgot you could use the Joker on the one. Oh, man. We could, probably could have gone through No, this. because I, I did not have enough going before. Here we go, right? No, I don't need immediately. I mean, in one of the times in this... In, in, in the last hour and a half at some point. Like, <laughs> I think it was recent, if we even can. I don't actually okay. know if we quite have enough. We might... But we're definitely... What? Black Flash seems to have a connection with other aspects of death in the DC extended in the DC universe. Most notably, the Black Racer. That's. Oh, the Black Racer is legitimately what they call the Grim Reaper of the universe. All right. The Grim Reaper of the DC universe. When it is your time. Ryan, we're through the, the fucking door. The, the, in, in, the implacable Black Racer will be there in the end. Plot's happening. Perfect. I can stop talking about the Flash.
Oh, they're fighting. Oh, yes, now. this fight. Yeah, the fight that we remember that. Remember that fight from four episodes ago, guys. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that we were watching Ruby. Oh, that was cool. That's Scythe. Nice the organization's betrayed. In that name, I will annihilate you. That line. In that you. name, I will annihilate you. Well, you had to try it once, you know. You only attack my after image. Yes, and if, if we, I remember correctly, they're fighting because Axel wants to uphold the code of the organization and kill the traitor, which he now believes is Marluxia. Marluxia. He, Marluxia seemed to think that Axel was with him in the coup, but he, Axel seemed to be undercover, if you will. Yes? Oh, hey, Nomine. Is that your shield? Won't do you any good, I'm afraid. I don't give a fuck about that, bitch. Yeah, I've got anime hair too. Are you listening, Sora? Sorry, the door was really hard to get through. Okay. He says he's willing to harm Namine to get me. You won't let that. Oh, okay, go. Kyle, you ready to fight Axel again? Yep. Oh, come now. You're Marluxia's puppet already. After I finish you, he's oh, next. Look at the line delivery. That, there. Was, that was fantastic. Sexual. <laughs> that voice actor. Good. Now He's so underrated. I know he plays whiny characters sometimes, but I like. Are you talking about Quentin Flynn or? Yes, Quentin Flynn. Yeah, he's fine. Raiden just sucks. Yeah, Raiden got redeemed in in Revengeance. Yeah, right. Once turned into a cool cyborg ninja. Yeah, he was pretty all right. Turns out that they just needed to turn the anime to anime, just like this, right? It turns out that this voice actor does well with anime. But, but you have to really make it anime. He also and does that, really well with playing douches. Like every character he played in Final Fantasy X was pretty douchey. That is true. Oh, okay, he can... Alright, boss, boss fight time. Oh, he, he, he can Scorpion. Yeah. Get those beats in! Fire... Blizzard beats fire, bitch. I know that. I live in a place where it's already snowing and it's only September. Literally snow on the ground stuck there and still snowing right now. It's like minus five. That's crazy. It's actually pretty early for us. We normally never get snow in September. No, yeah, that, that's Most early for Canada everybody, Ryan. It. It's early for everybody, yeah. It's just uh, because of, because of the, all the fires during the summer, everyone predicted that we were going to get a lot of uh, Chinooks during, um, the, as, as fall came, and guess what? That's what happened. If people aren't familiar, we live near the mountains, and what Chinooks generally do is give you the opposite temperature of the temperature that you're currently experiencing generally. So if it is warm, it'll be cold. If it is cold, it'll be warm. Which is why people who live in Calgary love Chinooks during, like, December, for example. Yeah. Because then it becomes a lot warmer. To the point that sometimes all the snow melts. I remember living in, uh, working up in Grand Prairie, uh, where, you, like, on the mountains, and it would be crazy. You'd be like, the, all of the rest of Alberta would be literally not minus 20 um, during the day, right? Trinity and Limit, let's snow. see what happens. Okay. Boss fight. And it, it was just snow everywhere. But then when you go up in the mountains during the like noon, it would be cold all day. But then at noon, it would suddenly go to like plus fifteen. I think I just took like off an hours. entire health bar. Yeah, that's pretty good. I was okay I'll with stop. it. I'll stop my story because you're in a boss fight. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I, I'm just. I think I have that's a chance fair. at this one. Yeah. Basically, what I'm, I was just saying, cold. Chinooks, you know, weather. Okay, let's let's chill out for a second, Axel. Axel, just just a sec, buddy. Wow, wow. Heal. That was a nice line delivery too. Yeah, it wasn't bad, Burn, baby. Whoa. I haven't really, I haven't really been looking at his, uh, his lights, but he's been countering most of them. But he's got fire tooth. Oh shit! Nice. Just before he built a stack. Fire. Shit! 
I'm just gonna dump a Kiraga. I just don't want to take any chances here. Yeah. No, he countered me. Yeah, okay. yeah, well, Cloud is what I meant. Like, he countered I, him as in Cloud. Gotcha. Okay, Ch dude, chill, chill, chill! I just, I just want to beat you in the first try. Is that too much to ask? Apparently so! Fuck! Apparently it is, because he just went combo crazy on you. Combo, wombo, chombo. Those weren't words. Give it one more go, and then we'll call it an episode. I have faith. Yeah. My quality isn't great, by the way, but I don't Lark know what's Steam causing paid that. The price for disloyalty. It's been like that for a while. It could be my computer. I'm going to say it's your computer. Okay. Cool. Hey, do you wanna do Axel? You wanna oh, I was wondering how he broke that, but I, I just because zero. zero. Man, you used to find that well, but I like how it stays locked onto him even when he moves, which is nice. Obviously there's still a situation where he can dodge it, but he has to be really precise. One of the only instances when I feel like the system made sense. But that's what, but, but realistically, it only makes sense because they're making it just as fair for him as they make it for you, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, again, a Dark Souls -y aspect. It's like, uh, you know what? If they can glitch through me, then I better be able to glitch. Yeah, that type of thing. God damn it! He didn't stay stunned long enough. That was my fault. Yeah. It's okay. Hey, asshole. What's the problem? Wow, he's been saving some zeros. Oh fuck. Nice, got it off. Nice dodge. You didn't even actually dodge there. You just walk, nice walk around it. Yeah, I kited it. That was a Neo dodge. That was the uh, the classic league dodge where you know that they're gonna lead you. So you cool. Yeah, no, no, yeah, this is fine, this is fine. Just use your zero. You didn't take damage from that, I think it's because you just got it off in time. I know it. I didn't realize that was AoE. That's actually crazy. That could, that'll hit you if you don't. I'm you, dead. No I'm dead now. That. Yeah, fire tooth. Yeah. I'm gonna Holy G. Shot. Okay, how many of those does he throw? Oh, yeah, you basically yeah, have like to kind of, His yeah, slides seem pretty my zero OP. I to try to get a Ragnarok off. That was a mistake. I'm not using Ragnarok yeah. in this fight. In this fight, yeah. I need the zeros too much. Um, yeah, yeah, those zeros need to be saved for countering because his lights seem to be pretty strong. You want to call it or no? No, we go. This is gonna be the last episode of the day, and you've got. Yeah, we can come back to this fresh. Yeah. We well, no, no. I, I mean, so. I'm gonna do one more try. Sorry. I'm, oh, okay. Sorry. That's why I said you want to call it or do you want to go forward. That's yeah, I want to. Because this is the last episode of the day, I want to give it another shot. Perfect. You want to try another try? I'm okay with that because that fight went fast. Okay, he still got both hits off, so I'm fine with that. Yep. I feel like he doesn't stay stunned as long. Uh, it was the same thing with Larkstein. Like the last time I fought her. Oh yeah, true. Oh, suck it. Um, almost got both off. Suck a nut. Maybe you want to save dump in that second one now, and, and let him let him just deal with whatever he counters, and then get it after another strike raid. You might be only able to get one triple the log off after each strike rate. Or a cloud, right? Seems like he's just not stunned long enough for you to do more. And he has no problem saving his zeros, so we might as well not draw them out, right? Or if we are, draw them out on something that we don't care about. Yeah. Nice guy. Times there. Oh, I guess you've been doing it three times, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, a zero Donald. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just saying it's a nice pickup, right? Those are all random, so you have no idea what number yeah. you get. It'd be nice. You know what? It, 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 in my opinion, this system would be better if, just because you don't get the, your friends in the game normally if they were always zeros. I agree. I think that, I, I think that would have been fairer. 
considering how many different slights and abilities that are OP that they give some of these duels, I think that the idea that you're getting your friends should make you OP, right? Because that's Sora's biggest strength. He's got friends that care. Oh fuck, I'm out of zeros! I'm almost out of cure, so this is a problem. Okay. I know you would have lost. Well, no, you lose it anyway, don't you? Items? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, actually, it makes more sense to front with the summon because you might as well, right? Yeah. Heal. Freeze. Freeze. <laughs> Fuck! He's so low! Oh my god, no! He was at one health and he ran out of attack! Oh, time. what a battle! Ryan, I'm doing it one that more time. That was crazy. I've got this. Oh man, you, you, yeah. I actually think this is an okay battle. This is an okay duel. Yeah, at least because we can understand the concept. Like sometimes it seems like, like with some of the enemies, it, it was sometimes, especially with these duels, some of some of their attacks, you're actually better off saving your cards and not countering and just dodging, right? But with him, pretty much it was it was easy for us to learn early that all of his slights are good enough to kill you, so just don't don't let him get slights off. Which don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you haven't understood that. I'm just saying that that's, that's yeah, ah, uh, fucking it's good uh... because it's it, it's almost like you need having a clear. Objective and understanding how to get there is, is useful. Okay, his basic attacks are also fucking ridiculous here. Yeah, well, it, it seems like they stun lock you and you can't, like, pop a slight on them, right? Yeah, pretty much. Because that's what I was wondering, because it seems like you have this slight queued up as he's hitting you, and I'm just like, what? Can you not just like drop it on him and it's like no because he's interrupting your ability to do anything which then makes it really annoying. nice he dumped all his cards against that that's beautiful He, he dumped a lot of slice there, so I'm feeling okay about that. still got happened. another fire worth. Fire oh, worth fuck fire. me. Yeah, I just wasted... That's kind of the thing, if you wait to counter his slights, he starts to become... Like, you probably could have countered that with, with like, a 9 almost. You're starting to get to the point. Just be like, okay, not a 9 anymore, because he's building higher. Now we have 19 this time, so it's good to save a 0. Come here. I'll make it all stop. Freeze. Get that cloud out. Power. Yeah. Burn, baby, burn! Oh, well, he has another health bar. Damn it! Yeah, I, I know. Oh, I was just... Oh, I was just about to You got to a little blood. excited there, Ryan. I thought it was over. Oh no! I hope I didn't doom us. Zero. 
Yeah, I got it. Okay, Axel, chill. Yeah, fuck you, Axel! Freeze! That's why I was wondering that, because when I said burn, baby, burn, I was trying to get it before you reacted, and I was like, why didn't Kyle react? And then yeah. I just, oh, it's wait. almost like he knew he had another health bar. There we um, go. We got yeah. Axel down. Yeah, we grinded fuck the Axel you, to the ground. Axel. Oh, look at your Quentin, card, Axel. Quentin, Quentin Flynn will have to die another day. He's not James Bond, Ryan. I'm still in a dream. You sure he isn't? Snake Eater. You yep. It's from a franchise that is Bond. Thank you. It was worth saving you I'm after so all. Saving me? What do you mean? <laughs> Sorry, I would hate to kill the suspense. Thanks, Dick. Axel. You cryptic and weird. Axel. Don't just send me right into another boss fight, okay? I don't want to fight, fuckface. Nope. Sora, we need a save point. Don't worry, he will. It'll, it'll, it, it, I'm sure if it's not a save point, then we might get a little bit of cutscene before. Oh no, we're good. We can save. We beat Axel. We've beaten Wait. this area of Castle Oblivion. Um, or, or maybe we, some of these doors are just boss fights. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. So we gotta go find a save point. We still gotta go to that other door. I'm the war doors that door. To be fair, we probably could have understood the door stuff. Oh wait, go to the doors. Oh no. What? Kyle. What? No, that that tells me why I used it, to get through them, not. What oh they have. okay, okay. Go to the reward door and see if it tells you anything, because we haven't been through that door yet. Yeah, this is what it takes to get through that. Yeah. I, sorry, we were criticizing how it, this would be a system that would be easier to save your cards if you would have known in advance. I guess there was no way to know what we would need in this no, one specifically like, this until door, we got I here. I got nothing. But, yeah. Oh, 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 you don't get nothing until you've been to the door. Yeah, right. okay, never mind. That, that still stands. Yeah, so then the, this whole system is useless. Why tell us what we need Needed. until on the map when we don't find out till we get there anyway? Right? Yeah. The whole point of a map is to plan. Yeah, okay, it helps you Now backtrack. it's even dumber. Now they're trolling us. So they put a shitty map in. It's like Shenmue. Does Shenmue have a bad map? Oh man, it's not. A, it doesn't have an in-game map. There's a moment where you're like doing a stealth sequence through these. Like it's in one of the best of GBs because they play through that game. But yeah, uh, you, the, 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 it's a stealth sequence through like this Fire abandoned boils. warehouse. And he's just like, "Don't worry, I filled the map out for you. I'm an old man." And uh, wow, I nailed that voice that time. Anyway, good job. Um, buddy. He uh, he uh, gives them this map, and it's just like a bunch of squares with no indication of what's what or where you are or anything. It's just like, thanks, that'll really help. Like, what? That don't do anything. It's like this. Yeah, literally a bunch All of squares. All this tells us is to prevent us from getting lost, which is the only credit I can give it after we've discovered where we are. Again, fitting in with their stupid, you have to rediscover it because you can't re fucking stupid. Can't re oh. 43 minutes. Where's the save point? Didn't you go back through one of the doors? Okay. I have to, for one. Yeah, I have to get... I have to... Fuck off! Hi. I'm not fighting you, Cox. I'm the Black Flash. He basically looked like those dudes. You can't catch me. I'm look, the look, gingerbread man, more zombified with, like, evil teeth. You know what I mean? By that, I mean, like, teeth that look like they could kill you. Yeah. Or teeth... Teeth for eating you. I'm not fighting you, fuckers. Actually blow a dick. Man, that delayed reaction was beautiful for me because you had just jumped up there and I was like, how could someone get you on the ladder? So when you said I'm not fighting you fuckers just as he slowly comes to you, I got the pre-laugh and then I got that good giddy moment when he finally hit you. Because he came out of nowhere. Oh, like, here I think he's Randy Orton. But what he doesn't know is that Sora hears voices in his head and they belong to Nominee, but they're fake. He so. understands. They talk to him. Yeah. Just, just making my way downtown. I'm walking slow, going fast, but not really. Da -na 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 -na. And so a beat Axel. That's all we did today. The, tomorrow, next time's recap's gonna be really <laughs> fucking easy. <laughs> I'm just saying, Ryan. <laughs> nice sneeze. Nice triple sneeze. Triple sneeze. I sneeze on you. I'm allergic to bad game design. Yep. We made it! 
Looks like we made it! Alright, next time we try, we hope that they don't make us go through the next door with a billion things. Um, hopefully. Because I'll hate my life. We're getting near the end. Maybe we, but maybe we also have to do that. Maybe there's like seven doors that are like that. Each one leads to another boss version of each of the characters yeah. we've already fought. And then after that, we have to fight seven boss versions of the characters that are regular enemies on a rush before we get to the end game boss, which has yeah. 16 forms. I'm only speculating here. Also, he steals cards from your deck. That's going to happen at some point because they really don't want to make it easy. They want to make it harder on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's already not hard enough. And then Donald and Goofy were the only cards I have, and I have to beat an entire fight with Donald and Goofy, and Donald randomly healing him sometimes, because that's how yeah. the magic works. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Next time, we try to find Mario Also, Lucia, if you lose to him, he steals all your room cards, so you have to regrind to get back into his door. Yeah. See you guys next time.